Hey guys, what's up? Ryan here. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan here. Today I'm coming back from my hiatus on YouTube to show you guys a little bit more of a technical video. Today I'm gonna be searing some salmon, just an easy fish video. Not really as much of a recipe as much as it is like a technique that I've learned through my culinary experiences. I'm not really sure if you guys wanna see more videos like this where I'm just talking about my techniques that I've learned or if you wanna see recipes talking about culinary school experience, really whatever it is, um, leave a comment down below, we can talk about it. I'll try and be active this time, I know I've been pretty shitty about that. Uh, first thing we wanna do is temper our salmon to room temperature, so I have two pieces here, about three and a half to four ounces each. This is gonna be nice for lunch. Um, I think I got six or eight pieces of salmon out of a $30 filet, so that's a pretty good amount of food for lunches or light dinners. Yeah, basically just gonna sear off the skin. So we want it nice and dry. So I'm gonna grab some paper towel. I'm gonna lay it on it. I have it resting on a resting tray right now like this, just so it's exposed to the air. Um, I want it to dry out a little bit because it's been vacuum sealed. Uh, yeah, not really too much when you buy a salmon from the store. Um, generally they're vacuum sealed already, so they're gonna have a little bit of excess moisture. You're just gonna pat that dry with a paper towel or leave it out for a little while. Once I've patted my salmon dry, now I'm gonna be seasoning it with kosher salt. As I'm heating up my pan for the salmon, I'm gonna be seasoning it. Uh, it'll just help give it a little bit better of a sear. It's not the biggest issue in the world, but generally salt helps with evaporating moisture. Um, and it dehydrates it, which is exactly what we're gonna wanna do to the skin. So now I'm heating up my pan to a medium heat. Uh, I'm using an induction and a non-stick pan. This is probably the best option for you. If you just have a stainless steel pan, you need to get the pan a lot hotter um, because otherwise the skin is gonna release all these oils and it's gonna stick to it. So now, I don't know if you can tell, but a little bit of that moisture is coming out through this, through the salt but it's a bit too grainy to fully evaporate. So getting a finer salt might work better for this, but I think it'll be all right. Now the pan is hot. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's an induction. It heats up very quickly. I have just a very small amount of oil here. Um, this is just basic canola oil, and I'm just gonna set down the fish. And then just keep your hand on top and just place a little bit of pressure. And this is what it looks like about 30 seconds into the sear. You can see the salt is already crusting. This is because the salt is not evaporated. And if you just leave a bunch of it on, it's not going to help. So I'm just going to flick a little bit of that off. When I push my fingers down like this, I'm feeling for bubbles. When the bubbles stop, I know that all the water has been evaporated. Once you feel like the entire bottom is nice and evenly crisped, you can flip it over, give it a check for yourself, just take a quick peek, flip it over in the pan and turn off the heat. Add in some butter, some lemon and some thyme, just some nice easy aromatics, and then gently swirl the fish around or baste it with a spoon. So now I've finished this salmon, I believe it should be perfectly cooked. It's right here. Yeah, it looks nice and tender. I see a little bit of the fat oozing out the sides, but not too much that it's just overcooked. And basically that's it. I've just paired it with a little bit of potatoes and asparagus, something really easy. Ooh, look at that. So it's nice and red still on the inside. It's not gonna be under at all. So this is basically what you want, nice and flaky. It's not raw because it still has like a fibrous consistency that's custardy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a like or a thumbs up or whatever the fuck they use on YouTube. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see and Maybe we'll be back for more. All right, peace.